pandemic has changed so much about how we do things like watching a child play in a sports of tournament. Schools are leaning heavily on live streaming options as state guidelines only permit two spectators per player. Eric at a cost tells us how schools and parents are adapting. Brett Johenshin describes watching his son's West Arundaquid track and field game almost like being there in person. They did have six cameras that had showing different areas, the high jump, the uh, shot put, the long distance events, the sprints. So it did have a lot of angles, which was which was beneficial. Because the game was hosted at a private athletic complex, he paid $35 for a month subscription. Sean Jeffers with Section 5 says this is going to happen with private venues. But whether you pay for a game on site varies from district to district. They could be using Facebook Live. YouTube. We turned to our IT department and uh, we, we did this in-house. Um, we have um, cameras set up, whether it be for girls swimming in the falls where we started or soccer at our stadium and uh, we provide access to folks at no charge. James Simmons with Canandaigua School District says you will have to pay a fee for sectional games and a higher demand means a slightly higher fee. Our regular season, our leagues, our schools, um, had to figure it out first. So we've been kind of watching, learning from what our schools are doing. A lot of folks that can't get out of the house, they may be elderly, they may be, um, you know, handicapped. They also may live out of state. Reporting, Eric Cost, News 8. All right, thank you, Eric Many Monroe County schools also use a live streaming service, Varsity Media.